go for the practice. Oh, yeah. so the practice could be okay, we're going to put some cones down, right. see so you can hit the cones. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, whatever you want to do. So they get, but you could say, so if you break your serve down, you could say, okay, I'm trying to move my racket from left to right across the ball. That's the thing they're struggling with. Okay. Let's do the opposite of that, which would be actually hit, trying to hit an inside-out serve. So it, it sort of a little bit depends on what the player's struggling with. What the problem it, is, yeah. Right? When you start to see it. But you give, but by giving them the opposite feeling, they understand that feeling. That's more. so simple, but so genius. Yeah. It's so smart. Yeah, it's not say mine. that again. It's not, it's not mine. All I'm doing is telling you what So simple, know. but so genius. Right. <laughs> Yeah, but but uh, the other thing is it doubles, it keeps kids interested for longer. It doubles the amount of time you can actually do a practice for as well. Because now the kid's practicing this, 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 this. And, the, and what you're doing is, you know, the rhythm of life is like this. Yeah. Australia did a study about kids. They worked out the number one thing that determines how much a kid learns in school. How much sleep they get. So our life works like that. You know, you know when you've had a bad day's night's sleep, the next day's not so good. So in order to keep maintain those peaks, just by doing the opposites in little blocks. Honestly, I had it all wrong when I was teaching new skills, and I'll just throw myself under the bus for a minute and say, yep, I did it. But I, when I was teaching new skills, I was like all about the reps. Here's the old way, and I would explain why we're changing it and all that stuff, but then I would introduce the new way and just hone it down. Like, we're gonna do this for, until you get it. Yeah. But I like how you go old new, old new. You're still doing new. reps, but you're doing old new, old, so you're doing those. So no, if you're I, learning yeah, topspin, right. you, might, you might hit 100 balls. You're still hitting 50 balls with topspin and 50 balls with slice. Yeah. But now your brain is actually learning much more. It makes sense, right? It's yeah. actually, it's actually you can uh, feel it too. being stimulated. Right. Right? And, and that's just, I like to say, everyone knows this. It's kind of like, you know, it's like if you step outside of tennis, all motor learning people know it. It's, it's all over the internet, it's everywhere yeah. you look. You know, it's just differential learning is, and there's another way of doing it, which some people use, which is very subtle, which is this is the thing I'm working on, and then they'll do five different little practices, mm -hmm. right? But to start with, until you get to that point, because pros get lost with that model. It's just easier to go, right, let's do the opposites. And remember how kids' books are written. Yeah. Up, down, left, right, short. It's a common Definitely. concept for little tiny kids. They, yeah. they learn all these things hot, cold. They learn all these comparisons before they start. Okay? It makes sense. By the way, if someone steals your Steelers hat by the end of tomorrow, <laughs> it might be me. Oh, no. It might be me. Okay. Okay, I think Especially I as we've got to spend tomorrow to here <laughs> not watching the game. They moved it to an night Huh? They didn't. They did. Okay. So yeah. The balls. And now we're See, on. you already did. Yeah. That's it. It's just doing that and practicing it that way. Yeah. Especially for kids is way better because they and you just said it right there straight away, Donnie. They feel it. They can really feel the difference. Right. In feeling something. You know, I taught in, in Paris for nine weeks when I was 19, and all I can say in French is Comme ça, d'accord, oui, oui, allez, allez. So literally it would be like, Comme ça, d'accord, oui, allez. That would be it. Like, and after nine weeks they went, can you stay? I don't even speak French. Yeah, but you're the best coach. But it was all about teaching feelings. You don't need language, you need feelings. When we create that opposite feeling, your brain is, is really absorbing the concept of feelings. Now, of course, there's things you can do with fast, slow, all the different, you know, slice, top spin, deep, short. In tennis, this is everywhere. It's a natural part of what we teach. But the way we teach it, one thing, one way at one time, is not actually the best way for the brain to learn to but don't believe it. Can you repeat what you said you were doing? On the bar. Yeah. Okay. Well, I would do the uh, exact opposite of what I wanted to do. I would put them here and put balls under their feet and make them stand. Hold the balls with their toes at their feet. They got to stay there and ball. And I would do a repetition of probably six to eight balls. And after that, I would remove the balls and say, now I want you to step and do six or eight there, and I would say, what feels the best? Great. And surely, being stationary, trying to hold these balls here would not be comfortable to anyone. Thank you. Yeah. They're already doing what they were doing before. You know, and you've had this. I, Arnold's, I bet Arnold's had this, because I bet Arnold's been teaching long enough. But he's had a guy come in and go, you know what, I slice every forehand, coach. I want to just, I want to hit it flat. 
and he goes, okay, let's do this. I want you to brush up the back of the ball. And he's taught him top spin, right? But what you get at the end of it is the guy can hit flat. Because he, he went from slice, but what we would do is actually go, right, we're gonna slice it as much as you possibly can. Now, top spin it like a windscreen wiper like this, and then, you know, so if they learn black and white, then they'll be able to stop the stroke. And the other thing is it gives you loads more content in your lessons and loads more productive learning because you don't feel like you're repeating something over and over again for ages. There's a lot of variation in this. Kids don't get bored by doing something again, they just get bored by doing something too long. Remember how they watch TV? They watch the same program again and again and again and again. And again. If you got kids, it's like, Seriously, didn't we watch this episode this morning? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Well, the rewind got you, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And we, we had that video Coraline when my daughter was little. We we blew the DVD. It was like it came out like like this. The DVD came out. Please don't pay me anymore. Just like died. <laughs> yeah, Cars Two. Exactly. Cars Two. Anybody who grew up in Cars Two, and you had a kid, then yeah. Uh, yeah. DVD. I said, if your hand is going up, put the ball goes. The ball goes up. I start putting down my hands, doing like that. If you want to hit the ball down, your hand is going down. And my, your hand is going down. That's why in London they call it forehand, forehand. And backhand, backhand. And after that, I explain that in the backhand too. It's like the backhand too and the backhand means that your forehand, your, it's your forehand but your lefty. I want your left hand doing like this, or doing like this, and the ball goes up or down, and you start developing those muscles. And, and that's the idea, it's like, okay, let's go down. And let me find your, your hand control, developing these muscles, go down, go up, and try to feel that you're controlling the face of the racket. Yeah. That's, that's, that's kind of the way to see you, to see kids understanding where the ball is going, understanding that the forehand means palm of your hand, and backhand means this. But if they're two-handed backhand, it means that they have two forehands. But the and thing, the most important word you said there is feel. Mm -hmm. Because by doing this, you have true fit. It's like you ate an uh, Indian meal and you had a beer. How cold does the beer fit taste after you had the hot curry? You know, it's like yeah. you know, you've, you've used extremes to create more sensation and more feeling. And actually, what that does is that stimulates your brain to actually learn more. Yeah, but it's not the classic way we thought about it. Yeah, I, I would say a lot of times that there is, even though. Uh, there is no right way to hit the ball or a wrong way to hit the ball. There's only the right way to do what we're trying to do. Okay, what we're trying to do to control the ball. So I've seen better hit shots that are unbelievable. 20 years ago, you didn't see the tweener. Okay, and so while we're not necessarily going to teach the tweener, but uh, inside out forehand drop shot, you know, uh, things that we may not teach readily. You know, I have to have a certain grip to do that. So what, what is the mission? What am I trying to do with the ball? Okay, and what do I need to do technique-wise to be able to achieve that? Trying to get the... But we're at the next stage past that where we're saying, you now understand that. Like, I, you know, one of my things I always say is like, when is this the worst forehand in the world? That's the worst one in the world. When I wanted the ball to go there. Yeah. Right? That one sucks. Right? But when we get to the point that I now understand what I'm trying to learn, if I if there's a blockage here, if I don't learn it quickly, you use opposites to unblock the brain and create that plasticity that really absorbs and, it. And and then in that, that, so you might actually practice whatever that, that thing is. So you're right, there's shots we don't teach. But if you've taught the brain this way, you you get what we call skill, which is skill is the ability to do use a technique at the right time and place to get the right desired result. Yeah. Technique's not that. Technique's just what you do. Yeah. Right. Skill is how you adapt it to get the result that you want. And what you're going to get if you use this idea of opposites is you don't just get the black and white. You get Fifty Shades of Grey. Kitching. <laughs> Okay. You see what I mean? So you get all of those kind of things. Because you get all those different levels. So you're right, you don't have to teach the, that shot or that shot or that shot. Because you've now caught, taught somebody that doesn't just have one forehand. He can feel how to change that forehand to make different things happen. And now we have skillful players. Yeah, but it's all feeling. Yeah. All right.